In this tutorial, I'll briefly show you how to create a custom page template for your WordPress theme. Sometimes you may want an individual page on your blog or a series of pages to show different than the normal page. So for example, on this test blog here, I have a page called Cool Websites. When I click on it, in the default Kubrick theme, the pages show pretty much the same way posts show. You have pages on the left and then you have your sidebar still on the right and all pages are set up the same way if you use the default page template. Let's say for example when a person clicks on cool websites I wanted the sites to show across the entire width of the page and I didn't want to have a sidebar on that particular page. Well the way I would create that is by creating a custom page template. So let's see how to go about doing that. Now the first place you should start when you want to get into some real detail on creating these templates is in the WordPress codex. If you go to the codex and search for templates you'll find all kinds of documentation on creating templates uh, on the template structure in WordPress and on creating specific page templates. So here in WordPress under pages and creating your own page templates uh, it basically explains what I'm going to show you and then there's a lot more information here for you to get in depth in this. I'm going to basically concentrate on the basics here. Now before I work on any theme, especially the, one of the default themes, I'll make a copy of it. So let's come here and on our default theme, let's just make a copy. And then I'm going to rename this and I'll just call it custom for now. So now let's go to our blog and log in and go to our themes area and select our custom theme. And this is custom. We can see here themes custom. That's the one I just created and I'll activate it. This is an exact replica of the um, Kubrick default theme, uh, but it's the one I'm going to work on. And the reason I like to do that, especially when I'm working on Kubrick, is that if I do an auto upgrade and I don't make a copy, if I just work on Kubrick, uh, then I'm going to overwrite my theme and I don't want to do that. So now that we have the copy, let's open our custom theme and we're going to make a page template. When you make a page template, you can create a brand new page PHP file or the easiest way to do it, the way that I like to do it, is just to take my page file that already exists and make a copy of it. So I'm going to copy my page PHP file, paste it back in. Again, you may need to FTP to do this. And then I'm just going to rename this file and call it page underscore NS for no sidebar. Now you can call it anything you want. Uh, and then we'll open that copy in an editor and for the purpose of demonstrations here, I'm going to be using the Edit Plus Text Editor. You can use any you want. Um, so we'll open that and open our page underscore NS. Now notice our page PHP and our page underscore NS are identical at the moment because I just made a copy. So now I'm going to take the page underscore NS and make a template out of it. And you simply do that by just assigning here a template name and we'll call it, you can call it anything you want, we'll just call this no sidebar and save. Now that's basically it as far as creating a custom template. All I've done is created a PHP file here and I've put this uh, identifier in between the commenting tags at the top for the template name and called it no sidebar. So now I have a custom template. If I were to log into my blog and go to create a page or edit an existing page. We'll just go edit this existing page here. Uh, you'll notice here under attributes, if it's collapsed, just open it. You'll see your templates. If you click the drop down, now I have a template for no sidebar along with any other default templates you may have. So I can select that template I've just created and update. Now I've done that on my cool websites page. Of course, when I click on Cool Websites, I don't see anything different because I haven't edited the template. It's an exact replica of my normal page template. So now let's go in and do a little bit of editing to the template. After you do a template name, you can essentially do anything you want after that. I could, if I wanted to, come in here and actually delete. Let me copy for a second. I could delete everything from that point on and save. Uh, and have just a complete blank template. Now you may not want to do that because what you essentially want to have is just nothing on your site since you're not calling the header or anything. Uh, but you could do that and start from complete scratch. 
uh, I wouldn't, I would at least uh, go in and leave the uh, call to get the header uh, if I deleted everything else and save and look at my site go to cool websites now there's my header that it's getting if I were to go back and we'll paste this back in and if I will leave the header and the footer and delete everything else then you'll see on the site now I have header footer so after you create the template you can put virtually anything you want in that PHP file uh, you can put HTML, PHP, anything you want in there uh, but let's go back and see a couple of useful things that I might do with this just this copy of page put it back in. I might decide, as I said earlier then, that I just want to take the sidebar off this page. So I come down here and I take the call for the sidebar off and save. I go back and look at my site. Now I see that the sidebar is gone. If I come to my blog, I can see that on a normal page that I'm using the default template, the sidebar is there. But on my cool websites page where I'm using this custom template, the sidebar is gone but my content is still here and I still have this background probably if I was going to remove the sidebar I really want the content to stretch across the width of the page so what you're really getting into here then is actually setting up your custom template to work the way you want and styling it the way you want now I'm not going to go into a lot of things in this video on that that's beyond the scope of this video but let me uh, while I'm here just go into a couple of uh, things here that might make this custom page uh, a little workable for me.